I'm Lynn. I guess I'm Arnie. He's never sure. Arnie Shepherd. And welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. Today, I think we're going to be letting out the rams. Yeah, that's the rams. So we'll go yeah. try that. Stay with us. Hi, Cracker. Hi, Lamborghini. Hi, you a little hungry? They seem to be getting along okay. Hi, Cracky. Hi. You're really nice. Lamborghini seems to be a lot calmer today. They don't like to move into new areas and they definitely don't like to leave their friends behind. So we'll give uh, Cracker and Lamborghini a chance to become best of buddies. At least um, neither of them are really aggressive type rams, so that helps a lot. Hi, Lamborghini. Hi. Lamborghini doesn't uh, really come up to be pet, but when you grab him and then like try to walk him around, he likes that. He likes uh, being the show sheep type of thing. Cracker, on the other hand, does like to be pet, hey? Here's Kryptonite. We're gonna bring him and Kodiak over. We're gonna let them live with the young rams in the other barn so that they don't have to compete with the big guys. Hi. You guys are special sheep. They may not want to run over on their own, but I think they will. You're gonna put a halter on them? See if they remember the halter. Oh, Cracker says you're not fast enough. He's trying to jump over the gate. But once they're gone, we'll let those two up here, eh? Sure. Knockout. He loves the attention. You gotta go in and put your arm around him. I know. Look at him. Hi, buddy. Hi. Yeah, you like the it up close and personal, don't you? You do. I know. You're you're a sweetheart. You are. Knockout just loves attention. Glad when he's in his breeding group. He's friendly, but he he's more uh, a little more aloof when he's in with the girls. Here he comes. Hi, Glad. So we're gonna take. Kodiak and Kryptonite over. We're hoping they can still remember the halters. They let us put them on pretty nicely. But for me to be able to film it, Arnie's going to try to take them both at once. And I'm going to move up ahead, maybe. And hopefully they get along with Leonard and his two buddies. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, you guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. There they go. Max, he doesn't like that. Come on. Come on. You remember the shows. Well, I guess we only took him. Max, get out! Max is snapping at him. Come on, you guys. Come on. There we go. 
There we go. Katie, stop. Max? See, now they can hear, hear the others, so they're a little more motivated to walk. Now we're hoping this won't be a big ordeal because these young guys are actually more the ones that are liable to cause problems. Do you want me to do something here? Well, I can hold one if you want. Here, watch the ear tags. See, it's the young guys that will bother the older guys. Yeah, but then that makes the older guys angry. See, I knew it's always the young guys that are the trouble. This is two, so if you... <clears throat> there aren't males dumb, eh? Yep. There. That's why I want, wanted really these this group to at least be buddies before they put a, we put them into that group. Because then it will be ultimate mayhem, wouldn't it? That's fine. You can wait, wait, one, you can wait one day. Or let the other ones out uh, for the day. Yeah. And just leave these in for them. Yeah. I have the gates ready, so... The big guys aren't the troublemakers, but the big guys will get annoyed by this and they could hit the lambs. We've opened the gates for these guys. The ram lambs are still harassing the old bo older rams. They're being ridiculous beyond belief. Oh, well, he's leaving in a few days, isn't he? He should be fine. Because he's not going with that group. Okay, it's okay, you guys. The lambs are nice freedom. They don't like the long grass and the wet grass. They don't like it. I can't believe how much grass is up there. That's good. It's just, it's just like we uh, grazed it and trimmed it and trimmed it and trimmed it like it actually made it thicker. Like this here too. Like this is all matting down, eh? Well, we decided to put those, all of them in with the big group, hoping that that will stop them being mental. It's actually the, th the three young ones that are causing all the trouble. Okay, we're going to let those rams sort it out, and we're going to head into the breeding groups, see how everyone's making out in here. Okay, we can see that Hannibal's eating at the feeder with his group. We'll head in and check on... Casanova here. You can see the orange, but one, uh, those two both have orange on them. This is three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Maybe we got a 10 there. 
maybe 10. Anticipation. Hi, you guys. Are you wanting to go outside? Now the young lady's turn to go outside. them all up. There's Chinny. You guys gonna go out? You can come back and eat the hay later. So funny. <laughs> See, they're not that keen to look, go to the fields. Come on. Uh, hi, Diva. Yeah. <laughs> We're using the <laughs> break here as a nice little back scratch.
This is the dog's favorite part of the day. And it gets the sheep out into the far pastures. We haven't, nobody's noticed these uh, two back here. I think that one limping is the one who had the rope around her foot the other day uh, because it was really tight around her, her foot and her neck. So she's probably just a little bit sore uh, right now, but she's fine. They got the stragglers. And they're all back where the really long grass is now. Good girl, Katie. Good girl. You did a great job. You did a great job, Katie. You're a good girl. So now we're gonna let Cracker and Lamborghini have this hole pen. They tend to like it being by the front of the barn there. Well, I guess it's the back of the barn because they can see the other sheep. But you can see why we didn't want these guys in with that rowdy crew. Uh, because someone was liable to get hurt. Cracker knows this barn, but Lamborghini doesn't, so he's still curious about everything, and now he's in a new pen again. Hey, Ferdinand, what's happening over here? What do you think? Oh, is it? <laughs> Oh, we still got Cash in there, but that's probably okay. There's Cash and Ferdinand. They see that Arnie's moving gates, which usually means they get to come out. What do you guys think? Would you like to come, come out, Cash? Here come the big guys. Ben, I think they want out. Hi, big guys. What do you think? Oh. It seems like it's a little better. Don't touch them. It takes a long time to get rid of laminitis, a few weeks. Yeah, but at least he's walking better. Sad to say that that's better, but... They're most interested, uh, not in the grass, but in the wi willow, willow tree. 
something about the willows that they really like. Is that good, handsome? It has a little bit of coarseness to it, right? To it, eh? I don't know. Well, let's go inside the tunnel. Stay there, Bent Max. There we go. What are you guys doing in here? Is this a nice place to be? They won't get headaches anyway. Willows are for headaches, aren't they? What's that round ring right there? It's where they walk around. The dogs. What's this here? Maybe someone can tell you that online what, what kind of uh, bug that is. <laughs> well, it's not a, that's not a praying mantis, is it? Um, be sacked. Well, yeah, it could be a, a really big one. Like, a, they laid a lot there. I didn't see very many premenses this year. Hi, you guys. Yeah, that's mine. Oh, no, that's yours. Yours has different eyes. Well, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But if they poke some holes, I can patch it, and then, uh, then they have to come out. So, in the meantime, maybe you can just spend a few days here. I just stuck the tree in the ground with a branch. <laughs> I know. But they love the willow trees. And they know it's here too. It's the first place they come. Not the grasses. Well, it sure hasn't freed them for a while. This is another gladiator one. He actually looks really nice. Here's our corn with the cobs now on it. They just walked over one. Generally, you walked right over and there was cob on it. Is that really yummy? They ripped the branches right off. Well, this is actually a nice shade tree too. It's, it uh, will be, it's yeah. Actually not going it's actually spreading your height. Yeah, well it's growing now finally. It took a long time for that one, eh? I think they have enough uh, stuff to occupy the time. They're not yeah. going to touch the plant. Hopefully not. You think they'd notice this corn? Look, this one's ripening. No kernels on it. Open it up. Oh, it di just died, right? No, that's what the corn companies do. They make it look. They make it because you can't reproduce it. Really? Yeah. It wouldn't. It wouldn't jump any seed. That's that. what Ma Monsanto does. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Tampering with the. See? That. Really? So that farmers can't use the corn from their bin to plant. I wouldn't be surprised. It's all For about, sure. It's all about the patent rights, eh? It's a controlled society, eh? Well, as long as they need the plant to plant. Oh, it looks like they've discovered the corn plants now. If you can't eat it, you may as well beat it up.
Well, they're destroying that corn. Look at them. If they can't eat it, they're gonna they're gonna kill it. Yeah, look at them. They're trying to beat it up now. Is there a parcel? It's not from the UK, is it? What's it say on the outside of the bag? Flip it over. What does that say? It says... Oh. Kind of the big writing, Arnie? Oh, jeez. Unit! Unit. Oh my god, now this is really good. This is from Carol Devaney. Now I'm going to send him one of our sweatshirts. Oh, is that bright? Oh my goodness. It's oh, and it's embroidered too. Scared the sheep. I, I sent Carol a message saying that I liked the red YouTube sweatshirts he had. And like they were all sold out, but he managed to find one more. And I asked him how to pay him, and he never got back to me. And he just sent this without me paying. So we were thinking of uh, doing up some t shirts of our own. So I'll make sure I get one for Carol and send it back to him. But he's with YouTube, one of our favorite. YouTube channels that we watch. He is a lot of fun and a lot of does a lot of hard work with his beautiful little blackies on the mountains. Not to mention all his shearing and his family and stuff. Good show. Oh, how about the light? Uh, too dark. Blind chair. Yeah, not too bad. Does it? Yeah. What's it looking like? Good. You can see the whole sweatshirt? Yeah. Is my hair okay? Your hair is fine, Lynn. It's not as, uh, it's nicer than the sweatshirt. Okay. So, this is Carol's sweatshirt. It fits perfectly. We weren't sure what size, but it fits perfectly. Totally love it. Um, thank you very much, Carol, for sending that. Really appreciate it. We just finished finished watching you this morning on YouTube. Uh, you're on Arco Island or something, up in the hills, chasing sheep around, shearing, taking you some fantastic shots of the views. And um, we've been playing around with getting some t-shirts made too. So you're gonna be first on the list. So I guess keep watching your mailbox but I am going to contact you and get your contact information. But thank you very much. Everybody watch YouTube if you don't already. Um, he's a young farmer in Ireland, and it's a really good show. Thanks again, Carl. Well, as another day comes to a close, I'd like to thank you all for joining us today, and I hope you join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.